All right, we're gonna do a demonstration on a saline flush for a saline lock, IV lock. This is what you should be looking for when assessing an IV um, to perform your saline flush. You're gonna have your IV catheter here connected by the J-loop with the lock connected and your injection cap. To perform a saline flush, the supplies you're gonna need is a prepackaged 10 ml saline syringe um, and some alcohol swabs. So the first thing you wanna remember is that a saline flush is considered a medication. So you wanna complete your three checks and your six medication rights before injecting this into an IV. Um, sometimes people can get careless with saline flushes because they don't view it as a medication. So remember you still wanna ID your patient, perform your three checks, scan the wristband, etc. Also remember that saline flushes are one-time use only. We have 10 mLs in this pre-filled syringe the order on the EMAR will, re EMAR will read um, flush with 10 mLs. So we can use up to 10 mLs to flush an IV. If we use less than 10 mLs, we wanna discard the remaining solution and discard the syringe appropriately. So first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is check the expiration date. We're gonna to wanna to check the order first, make sure we have a physician's order to saline flush an IV. Then we wanna look at the packaging and check for the expiration date which will be on the syringe and the numbers there. So once we know that the expiration date is okay, we can go ahead and perform our flush. So we're gonna go in the room, identify our patient, explain the purpose of our procedure, perform our three checks, um, use the BMV scanner, and then we're ready to go. First thing you want to do is swab the medication or the injection port for at least 15 seconds. By doing so, you want to make sure you're getting around the injection port. You can even push in a little bit. Make sure you're cleaning thoroughly. And we'll say that was 15 seconds. You want to let that air dry. While that's going on, we can remove the syringe from the packaging. When I do that, you'll notice there's a little bit of air up top on the syringe. To remove that air, we want to remove the cap, trying to keep as sterile and aseptic as possible. We don't want to contaminate the top of the syringe. Down here, we have the plunger. To remove this air, we have to give this plunger a little bit of pressure and pull back to break the seal. Once I do that, I'm going to slowly inject and eject the air until I get a couple drops, and then we're good to go. So I've completed my alcohol swab for 15 seconds. I have confirmed that I have my order. I've broken the seal, ejected the air. Now I am ready to perform my saline flush. First thing you wanna do is make sure that the J-loop is unclamped. You wanna keep that clamped when not in use to prevent any black backflow of blood that could cause um, a thrombus formation at the tip of the catheter. I wanna hold the injection cap in my non-dominant hand and connect my saline flush. You'll notice it takes a little bit of pressure and we're gonna twist to the right. This is a needleless system. This is called a lure lock. Once I'm connected there, I'm gonna to wanna to pull back on my saline flush. And what we're doing here is checking for blood return. This is gonna confirm placement of the IV catheter inside of the vein. Once we get that blood return, we're going to inspect the IV site, no looking for any redness um, any leaking, anything like that, I'm gonna slowly inject my medication. We don't wanna do this too quickly and cause any discomfort to the patient. As I'm slowly injecting, I'm looking around the IV site for any um, infiltration, any signs of discomfort, any leaking of the IV catheter. You wanna make sure you do this slowly. Some patient education here is the saline solution might be cold, it's at room temperature and your IV, or I'm sorry, your veins are body temperature. So they may feel some discomfort just from the coolness of the fluid, but that's okay. We just wanna make sure we don't have any pain or burning at the site. After gently flushing the fluid through the IV catheter, we are gonna then lock the J-loop and then remove our saline syringe. We want to discard of this appropriately, remove our gloves, perform hand hygiene, 
and then document in the EMAR in both, I'm sorry, in the EMAR as well as the IV assessment intervention that we performed the saline flush.